going live. And we're live. Hey, welcome, welcome. I'm Mike. I'm Audrey with a bold lip. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You also got like a neat little hair thing going on up here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's almost time for the weekend. I got Audrey a new shirt when I was at the Target yeah, today. Yeah, wearing your shirt. I'm not. I'm saving my shirt for the oh, for the the pin next show. Week. Go ahead. If y'all okay. go to the pin show, uh, next week is um, oh my um, gosh, Baltimore. Baltimore. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What was that noise? I went like this. Oh, I thought you were like stifling a burp. No. That happens. You no. know when you're like you do weird things because. I do that. No, like everyone does it. <laughs> You when it you, very personal. When you eat or drink when something. I, when I eat? That's a, it's a <laughs> open eye, universal eye. Oh, oh, oh. Like everyone. Oh, oh, when one, I see. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, when you drink something and you start talking too fast right away and you're like, oh, I need a, a burp, my eat coming. And then you try and do weird stuff to try, yeah. Yeah, no. Like that. I was just going like this. Uh, yeah, so next weekend, Baltimore. Next Friday's live stream will be from Baltimore. Uh, one of those days I'll be wearing a very exciting shirt that I just bought today. I'm very happy with it. Have you decided what day? No, maybe, okay. probably, maybe I'll wear it Saturday. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Uh, so let's, uh, welcome all the folks we got here in the chat early. Ruth and Greg M and Becky and Nancy Rudy and Greg Thomason and Annie Ritter and Russell Bickford and Martin Stewart and Christine Chan and Laura Cameron, one of our lovely mods in the house, Mary O'Day and John Albert. What's up? Are you going to you're going to Baltimore, right, John? I think he and uh, I think Annabelle's going to be there too. I remember for funsies. That. That's that's yeah. far. That's a far trip. It's real far. Yeah. Yeah. From that's across a pond, like a real large pond. Where is she? Denmark? No. Uh... Somewhere in Sweden. Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands sounds yes, right. Yes, Netherlands. That no Baltimore right. for Greg Thomason. Have a oh. severe ankle sprain. Oh. MRI scheduled for next Thursday. Oh. <laughs> Gross. What time will the Baltimore live stream be? Uh, I don't actually know. Let me see what the hours are, because I don't even... I have a stupid question. Go ahead while as, I'm doing as this. A, as a doctor... Um, okay. What What does an MRI tell you for an ankle? It's a, magne it's a magnetic what resonance is, imaging. But I mean, what, what can that tell you over other things? can tell you like it can show you what kinds of things are uh like connected and or not so this is a mri of a knee and you can see what kinds of things are uh strained sprained attached or not mm -hmm. any more attached mm -hmm. so it can give you it can show you if there's uh fluid buildup in places that ought not to be it can show you tears in things like i mean it's 3d uh, so you can look all the way around instead of like an x-ray where it's just not really telling you anything yeah x-rays are like not they're not as cool as MRIs for one thing. I mean, yeah, but so. you know, like an insurance is going to be like, let's go ahead and just take some x-rays instead well, of paying for an MRI. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah, just I don't wondering know if, what I, bad things could have yeah. happened to be like, they're like, you need an MRI. And you can go through like layers, like depth and stuff mm -hmm. that you can't get with an x-ray. Mm -hmm. X-rays are kind of brute force, I think, and MRIs yeah. are much more... Micro fractures, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, let's Soft see. tissue imaging. See, there you go. Learn something mm. new. I mean, I again, I know... They use it for particular things right. like, oh, you have a brain thing? MRI right. sort of thing. But All right. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, 11 a.m. to 6, 10 to 5, 10 to 4. So like different times every day. Cool. Uh, so the live stream will probably be, I don't know, 4.30-ish. I'm going to have to see like what the show is like and how big and Ooh. all that sort of thing. I mean, I like that it starts at 11. Yeah. But I would rather end at 5. Well, you know, what are you going to do? You know... And the good thing about ending at six is like some people at work can get there on Friday if they want to. Yeah. Or like some people that have to work at you know on Friday. You know why my complaint is that? Why? It's a Friday and restaurants get busy, so then I'll have to wait longer for my food. Oh, for your DoorDashes? Yeah. yeah. I right. know that's a silly <laughs> complaint about it. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Have to yeah. wait longer to take a nap. Uh, yeah. yeah. I haven't decided if I'm going out for dinner or not, or if I'm staying in. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. Foot um, swollen since February 1st. That's a long time. That's well, wait. That is like a month. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, CT is also uh, radiation. Oh, well, MRI is not radiation. Well, I mean, everything I have radiation, had a CT right? scan. Really? 
Yeah, when I had my chronic fatigue, oh. they're like, when I had a you. I had a headache that never went away. So mm-hmm. they're like, maybe something in your brain, and they did a CT scan. Yeah, did I go to the Guinness restaurant? No, I've never been there. Never been there. Speaking of Amaro's being just magnets. Remember if we heard about that guy in Brazil who brought a gun into the room where his mother was getting an MRI and that went off and killed him? Yeah. I'm that not... is such a crazy story. That okay, seems sorry. entirely predictable. It sounds like a fake story. Really? Yeah. Because boy are those magnets hardcore. Yeah, but who's stupid enough? Like, like they'll, tear your, they'll tear your sure. metal out of you. But like, come on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably do... I'm going to try to do like 4.30, maybe 4. We'll see how it goes. I like to... Uh, I feel like I can have like a little extra time on these because I can go slower and I can talk to more people more. And it's sort of good to see the show. And because sometimes well, it's Well, I mean, e- that's why I do them. No, no. <laughs> I'm saying sometimes it's easier to be at the show and look around. Be, and it gives you a good idea how long it might take. Oh, oh, you mean for you me to be at the show before yeah. I... Yeah, yeah, before I met. So yeah, to true. know how much time you might need, so... yeah. Uh, but it's I'm, not helpful now. Right. I don't... Uh, well, let's see how it goes. I, uh, I'm i working with Shown Design. I'll be working with my buddy Ian behind the table all weekend. Audrey will be over at Franklin Kristoff nibbing it up. Head down. You'll be, this will be me. <laughs> see that view? This is my view of that. It's blinding. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You'll be finding her at Franklin Kristoff. Find me at Shown Design. I, I have, we don't know where those places are going to be. Who knows? No. But... Uh, I was in the corner last time. Mm-hmm. Is it the same? Wait, is it, it the same hotel? Uh, Airport Marriott, yeah, it's the same one on Nursery Road. St- I don't remember last year. Mm. No, we were still in the corner. Okay, never mind. Oh, you mean where you were? Yeah, I remember the year of the pandemic, so mm. 2020. Mm-hmm. I spilled a very large coffee on the floor and had to deal with it before you the show a large started. Co- where'd you get a coffee? So, somebody brought one for Scott, and Scott already had one, so it was, like, sitting someplace, and mm. boy, did I knock that over. So, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, against stupidity, the gods themselves contend in vain. Uh, indeed. Uh, anytime works for you, just want to know and tune in. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I will I will try to remember uh, to post something in our, uh, our, our, our patron Discord about what time. Um, to, to put that on there. So, uh, thanks for doing a live, uh, live again next week. Mike and Audrey looking forward to it. Yeah, of course, Carol. Also, I listened to Carol's friend of the show, uh, yeah. podcast that, uh, she, she did with Brad, the pen and dowdy. If you are a member of the, um, uh, is there a name? There's a pen and subscription. I actually Subscri- don't know if there's yeah. a name for it. Uh, then you will get, I was not done playing with that. Thank you very much. I took then you will... <laughs> this out. And started t- playing with it. Sh- well, I thought you were done playing with it. I thought you were saving Never. it for the cat. Okay. Never. I have more colors. You'd like to play with a different color. No, I just want to, you know, bend this one up a little bit. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're a Panic member, then you get the Friend of the Show uh, podcast as well, where Brad talks to, like, I don't know, people in the community. Yeah. yeah. A wide range of people, including, uh, most recently, Carol Brosman there. Yeah, that's uh, super cool. That was a great podcast. I really liked it. And before that, it was uh, I was, like, catching up, because I... I go in spurts where I like listen to yeah. one podcast for a long time, and then uh-huh. I'll switch to another one because I always have a backlog, sure. and so I've been kind of going through the backlog. And yeah. um, he talked to Eric Gamma, uh, yeah. Gama, Gama, yeah. who is uh, I think Yo Gamma Gamma or something on Twitch, and also has the Amarillo Pin Store, yep, uh, Amar- Amarillo Stationery rather, Amarillo, it's the Amarillo look. I grew, up, I grew up near a place called Amarillo, so if you have a, this word, I'm gonna say Amarillo because. Because I'm, I'm uncultured, yes. essentially. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he was also a joy. So uh, yeah, it was really interesting hearing him talk about, you know, how he got started mm-hmm. in doing this mm-hmm. little pin shop and all that sort of thing. He also used to have the uh, Tinterius podcast, yeah. which I actually don't know if it's still around. It's not one that I followed since I can't speak Spanish, obviously. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm saying Am- yeah. Amarillo. Yep. <laughs> so it. you know, uh, so there you go. Uh, let's see. You'll start lurking early. Good. Mythic Pins guy has his own podcast about, yeah, with, um, uh, Jonathan and, um, mm-hmm. uh, somebody else I want to say, right? Uh, mentioned he had an archived milestone for pin immortality as he approached something. Uh, as he appeared in one of your pin show tours. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was, um, shoot. What is the Mythic Pin guy's name? I am totally blanking on it. 
it'll come to me or somebody I'm will say better. it here. Jason. Nah. Oh, wait. Jason Neal is. No, he's not the mythic guy, is he? Jason Miller. Uh, yeah. Brad. Brad. The Brad sounds right. Yeah, yeah. But Jason's the other guy. That's wow. Right. Too, many, too, many. too many people. Mythic Brad. That sounds entirely right to me. So, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I, I don't think I've actually ever listened to that podcast. I need to put it in my queue. Uh, I tend to listen to a lot of like video game podcasts and uh, like comedy stuff, and so it kind of like those are like two or three hours long a piece. So these two animals I know, back I'm here. I'm just watching them; they're really looking out there. Yeah, we're talking about you. Oh hi, Scraggs. Yeah. We put a camera on you. What do you think about that? Oh, she hates it. She hates it almost as much as she hates uh, Katie bringing that close. Yeah. So What's I have up? a digress, but it was mentioned in the chat. Like, who cares? Let's go. We don't have uh, we don't have pin stuff we need to talk about. I. So. I did watch the end of the Alex Murdoch um, oh. trial. Murdoch. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Two hours. That's the, that's as much time. Like, they, this would have had to happen. They went into the jury room. They're like, okay, let's let's get a poll. And they're like, so we did it, right? Okay. And they just did the paperwork, and that was it. That, I mean, that's it. <laughs> that Wow. I, I that was that's... so fast. And that judge was delightful. I don't know what his name was, but I love him. Two life sentences. Consecutive, not concurrent. Yeah. That's and, oh my! There is a dog being walked outside, uh-huh. and she is protecting us. It's some kind of an old uh, retrievery sort of yep. dog. Uh, extra bottle of Colorverse of the Wit. Wait, Colorverse. Uh, uh, Colorverse, which uh, by st- <laughs> of which by Starlight. Wow, that's Colorverse a- of which by Starlight. <laughs> I was like, hey. That was sort of fun at the end there. I mean, that is what's at the beginning of all my videos. Is yeah, that's, that's what that is. Yeah. That right there. Uh, that sounds cool. I haven't seen that ink, I don't think. I lives near Atlanta. You check out his operation. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not, not the murder. <laughs> Look, it could, could be called Of Witch by Starlight. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's a... I, I'll believe yeah. it. I'll believe it. Uh, spoke Icon Prototype is fun. Oh, good. I'm glad. I was, uh, I was, I was looking at those again. Like, mm, do I need one? No, I don't need one. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, I may be getting one of uh, Brad's uh, Opus eighty eight pens though. Mm. I thought they were all sold out, uh, like right after he got them, which I I want to say was something like last Triangle Pen Show is about when I think started people started getting them. So I thought they were all gone. Mm. And uh, it turns out that he like he like, ordered more, and so there were more. So I was like, "Hey, Brad, how about you bring one of the shows? Yeah. I'll give you monies." Yeah, Russell's got the Wrangle Dracula. It made me think of you. I think that you would like it. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think Becky and Ruth also were talking about that. Yeah. Um, Nancy wants Dracula. Yeah, it looked cool because I know that you, sometimes you're on the fence, but I thought it looked cool. Interesting looking ink. Yeah, looks cool. Bram Stoker. Some of the pictures I've seen is a little darker if you put more da- like that, you know, it just depends. That looks cool. Yeah. Good look. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. there's also another one that uh, didn't Becky real early on say there was something I needed to try. Um, uh, she's still here. She can tell me which one it was. I lost it in the chat That's, early on. Yeah. I have like 14 she got during February. You need to test. Nice. I feel yeah. It's the first 14 days. It's leading to Valentine's Day. Yeah. That's why. Path. It's just called Path, huh? P-E-U-F. Goodness, it's so hard to spell. Path. This does look like it's up my alley. Yeah. Yeah. Just called Path, huh? Huh. Yeah. What are you barking at now? Nothing? Yeah, these look weird. Korean female modern writer ink. Oh, I did see this. There's like a four part series. And oh, yeah? I remember, yeah, they love, yeah. Hmm. Project number four collection. What? All right, well. About the color, color of Literature Project, yeah. Well, I will put it on my list with my brand new Franklin Kristoff that I got. I borrowed mm-hmm. this one for, for the uh, Panther 40 review and I had to, I had to keep it. So I was like, Scott. I, uh, I need to buy that pen from you. So, this one is mine now. Uh, it's just called Path. <laughs> yeah. Is this exclusive somewhere? I don't Probably think not, so. right? Wrangle, Alice. No, it must not be. I wonder how much it costs to ship from... Is that any cheaper? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I mean, it's I'm, like the same price? Interesting. We're going to, 
We're going to a pin show next weekend. So. No, I'm just saying I was wondering if it was cheaper to get it from Warringal's website to see if you can, because oh. you can get shipping not that bad. Let's see if they have it at John Gold's. I know John Gold's going to be there, right? I have no idea who's going to be there. <gasps> Actually, I don't either. We should look. Yep, they got it too. Sweet. Uh, Judge Clifton. His name's Clifton. Oh, I like it. A good name. More. Yeah. That's a good name. All right, let's see. Uh, Benu makes such fun pens. I, I've only really seen like one Benu pen that I, that I wanted at all. Um, it's not your aesthetic. Yeah, at it's all. not my. I mean, they're. I really like what they're doing with like textures and yeah. like different angles and like depths of like weird big chunk shimmer and stuff. I think it's yeah. cool. It's just not for me. Yeah. Uh, vendors and brands. All right, what we got here. Uh, uh, derail pens. Adolphus Smith is a cool name. I don't know Derail Pens, but that's a cool name. Shujan with Tasha. Guy Frazier, who I don't know, I don't think. Right stuff, I don't know. Jonathan Brooks. Oh, Jonathan's going to be there. That's good. Uh, Corey. Oh, of Headbone. Uh, I think they do some really interesting um, uh, like art on notepads and stuff like that. Also, they might be the ones that have tactile turn stuff. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh, Ryan's. I haven't seen Ryan in forever. I know. Ryan's been gone for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, Julian Rosenberg, Penquisition. Look at that. Corey's going to have tactile turn. Who's Corey? Is that their name? Uh, some of you, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Narwhal's done a custom pin called Summit Festival. Oh, yeah. There was one that I, I saw, saw recently that. for that. Uh, Kirk is going to be there. JC. John Ament. Wow. Never heard anybody. I didn't even know his first name was John. Always been JC. I, I don't know if I knew that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if somebody's like, what do you think the J's for? I'm like, I don't know, John maybe? Because like, you know, but I would never. Uh, Carrie's, oh, Carrie's going to be there for Fountain Pen Day? And not Kenro? Huh. I don't know. Uh, Michael Drongle, Drongles, Damien from All in the Nib. He's here in the chat sometimes. Is I don't know Lisa if I've seen him here gonna today. Is Lisa going to go? I didn't know that Lisa Van Ness was going to go. Well, I didn't either. Them, but... Wait, are these all confirmed? List is continuously updated. Mm. I guess so. Mm. I guess so. Uh, Visconti Plan Platinum JCA Luxury Brands. Coles of London with Michael. I haven't seen Michael in a while, I feel like. Uh, Rick is going to be there. Is he usually at Baltimore? Platinum. Oh, so they've got Luxury Brands and Platinums. They have a bunch of the Noodlers. Yeah, like so Noodlers yeah. and Waldman and, those are, and Nebula. Those are all Luxury Brands. So these huh. are brands and people. Yeah, that's only going to be one table, so I feel like it's just... I mean, it'll probably be like six tables, but well, like yeah, one group what, of people, yeah. yeah. exactly. Uh, Vili, Rick, uh, yeah, because S2, Pond, Visconti, yeah. uh, those are all the same. Yeah. Uh, Van S, that's fun. Uh, Helen's Creation's going to be there again. Oh, good. Ian Schoen, I've heard of that guy. Come yeah. see the Ian Schoen table. I'll be there. Come say hi. I actually had a Robert Oster shimmering thread this week that was frozen. Well, that's impressive. Oof. Um, oh, that's right. You sent me you sent me a message about Goodness. that. Uh, it didn't break though because it's a plastic bottle. Kara's is gonna be there. Hmm. Hmm. That's a long trip for them. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Dolov, tops. Scott Franklin is gonna be there with Franklin Kristoff. Oh. I don't. Maybe he will. I'm not <laughs> sure if he's decided. So. Uh, Eric, he's gonna have yeah, a table. That's know. cool. Oh. I like Eric. Yeah. Um, uh, Greg and uh, Day Art. Day Art's interesting. They've got some interesting stuff there. Pilot pens. No, Carrie's going to be Esterbrook because Esterbrook's there. Yeah, yeah. They, that's, Kenra, they've got a list of those They two have a things. three, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because all of these are Esterbrooks yeah. right here. Martin's going to be there. Narwhal. Narwhal. Oh, they've got Narwhal and not Nerler. Um, Enterprise. Oh, I don't not know. Judd. You don't know Judd? Um, you know Judd. It sounds real familiar, but I can't you think, know think Judd. of. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I do. Uh,. <laughs> Mario, of course. Brian Weaver. Good to see him again. He's always got cool oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. He has some really fun pens. That's cool. Yeah. Oscarson? Well. Uh, although it says Oscarson pens and so not David Oscarson. Yeah. So maybe it's going to be like Drum Ghouls will have some of his stuff or something like that. That guy's delightful. You know what? David Oscarson so you know, is delightful. You're like, if you feel like you're, it's too intimidating to go up to the table, like, I'm not going to be able to afford these. Yeah. They are. They're, exp they're no, expensive. Never, yeah. <laughs> and that does not matter. You yeah. go up to him anyway. He loves talking pens. Definitely do that. He's a good guy. <laughs> this guy is coming out of the woodwork, huh? Oh, it's been a while. I haven't. Yeah. How about that? 
Uh, Yaffa's gonna be there. Haven't seen Yaffa at some of the shows lately. Last one was DC. I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. Paul Walker. From the Fast and the Furious. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wonder what he's gonna have. <laughs> I don't know. Sick car oh, is wow. likely. Uh, Lauren Elliott for Lucky Star. Ereno. He's on there at least twice. Um, <laughs> he's got his own pens and stuff, too. Uh, Mike Daigle. Wait, no. I think he spelled Mike Daigle wrong. He's isn't he M Y K E or M Y K or something like that? Hmm. That doesn't look right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's a Y oh, in there there's, somewhere. He's twice. He's right there. Where? M Y K. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Will Hodge is a tactile turn. Will's not going. Will's going to be at Blade Show, I think, in Texas. But somebody's going to have some tape to. Yeah, M Y K. That sounds right. Uh, Mike Roger, you know which Kaveco clips fit the Shone Ultim pens? No, I don't. Um, I I would hesitate to do that. I wouldn't want to scratch up the finish. Like, Ultim's tough, but strapping metal to it seems seems dicey. Um, e, mm, yeah, oh. There aren't that many Kaveco clips, though. So it'd be just like, whichever ones are not for the, the what do you call it, the sport, I would guess, because those are octagonal or something. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. look up dimensions. I'm sure there's dimensions of the And they got Frank the Zhang in there twice, which is weird. Yeah, so oh, Pierre's going to on the list. How about that? I haven't seen yeah. him since. I, I actually haven't seen him in literally years. He was at San Francisco. Um, That's where I saw him. I usually see him in uh, Chicago, but I haven't been able to go to Chicago in a couple of years. And Good the chocolate written. guy is going to be there? Yeah, His Gingy. name is Guy. Huh. Yeah, he's yeah. the chocolate guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Guy is real nice. Uh, for, by uh, Chocolate by Gingy. Good dude. Apparently, Nisos on Slack put some Quaco uh, clips on Sean Penn. So. Yeah, I've seen Nisos do that. I, I wouldn't know how to do it, but, you know. Uh, Durell's the... Is it the... He was at the Atlanta Pen show, huh? Hmm. I don't know who that'd be. Um, but, I'm, I mean, if they were Atlanta, I'll probably recognize them and be like, oh, that's that's who that is. Mm. Hello um, from Japan. Hello, Lily. From Japan? Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome in. Haven't seen Pierre since BWI 2020. Is that 20? Oh, was he in Baltimore in 2020? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, send, if you're on, are you on, I didn't, couldn't remember if Greg was on Slack or not. But yeah, send, yeah, send Nisos a message. Yeah. He's on there. He's also on our um, our Discord. So if you're um, on there, Greg, he's there as well. Yep. So, so yeah, so it looks like it's an interesting set of people. Do you know who there. Epitome Pen Company is? I just saw that one. I was like, I don't know. That sounds familiar. Or Noiseville? Look, this is going to be a dumb question. But is this epitome or is it epitome? I mean, I, I, epitome is not a thing. Epitome. Really? Yeah, people okay. just mess it up and they don't know that's not a thing. And that's that how it looks. Me. That might be me. Oh, is this the one? Are these the folks that were at DC? That There's uh, their story. I mean. Uh, all right, let's learn more. They don't pronounce E. Epitoy? Mm, that can't be right. Indian company. I know they're an Indian company, but is this the one that gave Fig Buddha pen that like doesn't didn't work at all and he made that video about like the worst ones? I don't know. Let's see these things. Uh no, this looks different. Oh what a currency? What? Oh, I have no idea. If it's in it's, India, what is what are they? What's was that their, real? Is it real? Is it? I don't know. Yeah. It might be real. I don't know. Different company. But, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these don't look like those. These look like a very different sort of pen. These look cool. I like what they yeah. got going on with these like clear bodies and fun caps and ends and stuff. That's cool. This is nice looking. Looks classy. Well done. These metal ones are eh, those are okay. Are those actual threads on there? No, I don't think so. Okay, it just looked like it. I was... yeah, let's look closer. No, those aren't oh, threads. Rupees. Those are just ridges. <laughs> yeah. Rupees. That's right. I knew it started Not with to R. be confused with Zelda. <laughs> because people thought <laughs> it was a fake thing. That's correct. It's... Thank you. With the money and of... then Hyrule, exactly. With the money of Hyrule, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if Gourmet Pins is going to do something with uh, them or maybe think of someone else. Oh, it could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I I really only see Aziza like, at some pin shows and only very briefly. Yeah. I, I used to talk to her a fair amount, and like she's uh, always doing a bunch of stuff, so I never really get to talk to her. But, uh, yeah, yeah, 
Cool, 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 cool. Looks nice. All right. Wait, uh, they've got, um, um, uh, what's the, uh, Kanalea? I didn't yeah. see Kanalea on the list. Oh, they're there. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, there's yeah. There's so many. <laughs> there's so many, and they're all, I think the, yeah. like, the, the, I think this color thing where it's like sometimes it's different color. I think it's been screwing up my brain when I was trying to. Also the, the, um. The highlight? The bold. Yeah. Having yeah. bold. And then, but sometimes the top and sometimes it's the bot. It's just throwing me off. Mm-hmm. You can get VIP tickets. Look at this. Only 75 VIP tickets available, not available at the door. Tickets on sale now. Limited availability. Can you get them still? Buy a VIP pass. It looks like you can. You could be a VIP. What do you get? I don't actually want to do it, Weekend guys. pass. Three days, get an hour early before public, guarantee you seat in all free seminars, and VIP culinary swag bag. Swag bag? bag? Uh, you know, they had a swag bag at the LA show. Uh, the, sorry, the California, sorry, the California. The California show. <laughs> the California yeah. show. Man, do, how many times do people have to tell them that font is not know. working? Because it's California. Know. It's pretty she great. She is on fire today. She really is. My goodness. Oh, it's it's the bulldog that lives down the street. Oh yes, that yeah. bulldog seems very nice. It does. Yeah. Oh. Scraggles, you know you'd be friends with that bulldog. Don't be given that. Uh, tornado watch here in oh, Western. Western. Mm. Boof, look out for that. Yeah. Here it's like I don't know, a it's little just, overcast. Yeah, it's been That's overcast it. all day. That's all we got. Um. Oh, uh, Ruth and me, would you like samples of Witch by Starlight? I think Ruth just got one, right? Yeah, I have a couple bottles. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I would take a, I'd take a sample. I know Ruth is going to send me a couple of things, but um, if you haven't yet, throw in a sample if you want. Uh, it's taco season. I mean, it's always taco season, right? Ooh. I did uh, not eat lunch besides a couple red vines. I actually don't think I've eaten anything all day. I I'm, can't see I'm that. pretty I've sure I haven't. I had to get up and like go to a go to an appointment in Greensboro. And I'm doing errands on the way back. And Wednesday, I went and did errands and like found some fun stuff. You want to reach behind you and find the stuff I got? Or at least some of the stuff. You have two samples for me in Baltimore, Greg? Wow. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Uh, Pinchley has Leonardo Messenger pin on sale this week. Oh. Pinchley's always got some good sales. Um, mm -hmm. So one place I went is, uh, I went to Lush. Uh, what's that one called? Lush USA. This one. Nope. That's Etsy. Yep. <laughs> They got me. They did. I can't go back. Stop opening up new windows, you weirdo. Rainbows and waterfalls. That's it. Uh, I got this soap at the Lush. It's uh, it came out like that day. It is the most intensely scented soap that I have ever smelled. Like, it it smells most of the house up. It is now in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, because I've been using but, it. But so first it was in your office. Yeah. And then in our well, living room. first it was room, in my truck. I was like, wow, that's an intense smell. Well, I, I can only imagine. <laughs> I know. But you had it in the living room. Yeah. And, or in this office. And I went to the living room. I'm like, why am I smelling cucumber? It's not really like cucumber. It's watermelon. But it smells a little bit like cucumber sometimes. No, it definitely smells like cucumber sometimes. But not in a bad way. You don't like cucumber. Sense. I love the smell. I hate okay. the taste. But I was sitting there and I was like, do I have a ring tumor or something? <laughs> I keep smelling cucumber. What yeah. the heck? This has uh, and, fresh watermelon juice, marshmallow root decoction, and rose oil. Huh. I mean, look, it smells good, but now it's in our bathroom <laughs> and standing outside yeah. two doors that are closed. Yeah. I can still smell it. Still smells like it. It's uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it, like when you put it on, it smells like like watermelon. And most of the time it kind of smells like watermelon. But also it makes the room smell like cucumber, which is it's definitely maybe it's some like oh. mixture of things, but it's pretty good. Don't eat it, but it does look delicious and it smells great. So I got some of that and a couple of other little things. Make your mouth water talking about soap. I mean, it, it it's it's fun. I have not used it. I have so many other things I need to use up. But you broke it. Yeah. So lush is a thing that we always liked, but we never lived near one yeah. for a long time in Ohio or in Tennessee. And so now it's just, you know, we have a couple near us. Yeah. So we just go once in a while. This is the other one I picked up, which is Sea Vegetable. One review <laughs> of one star. That is, that is a weird. That is wild. Oh, it's no, got, they have a lot more than that. Yeah, what is that about? Used to be awesome. Bring back the previous formula. Look, I just got it today and it's great. Um, I don't 
Uh, I don't know what the problem is. Leaves your hand smelling you salted your icy Midwest sidewalk by hand. I don't know what that's uh, about. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of sea salt in it or something. Whatever. It smells great. Uh, I really like it. Coconut oil, seaweed, uplifting citrus scent. I'm into it. Uh, anyway, I picked up a couple things at Lush because we never get to go there, which well, I mean, is fun. I mean, again, we could. It's like and an hour away. I mean, I could. Okay, I could go every day, <laughs> I should say, because I drive well, by it a lot. Well. Yeah. So I went there. Uh, and the other place I went was uh, I went to the Lego store. So if you are That's a, why you went, technically. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I went, to Le- I went for the Lego store because yeah. I needed to get some Legos. Um, you just had to. Had to. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be, if you're watching my Twitch streams, probably Monday I'll be building Legos. Because maybe this yeah. weekend I'll just like put up a Twitch stream and decide to yeah. do Legos. I don't it's know. It's going to fit well with your Ikea over here. Oh, I know. It's going to be perfect. I've got a big uh, question block over there, which is amazing. I've got yeah. the NES set, which I love. And then I got this one, which is just uh, a Goomba and the Stompy Stompy boot from Mario Brothers, which I like. Do we know? It is the Goomba, not the Galoomba, right? Yeah, it's Goomba. Galoomba's okay. the giant one. Uh, I mean, look, I don't know what size that is. Well, I don't know. It's this size compared to the boot, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Goomba and uh, the Stompy Boot, which will be fun. I mean, this this is like 10 bucks, which is like a kind of a lot for 76 pieces. But also, or maybe it was like 8 I forget what it was. I was like, you know what? I need this boot, though. I, I really like Mario. I don't yeah. know if you guys knew this. I watch Mario maker content on youtube a lot so yeah it, yeah i think you like it because i like watching it a lot what mario maker stuff yeah i mean we watch people that i like yeah. when we watch it so yeah. that's the, uh and then i got this one in the checkout aisle because i was like this is real cool because we're talking this. about the flower ones they have a whole bunch of flower yeah. ones i was gonna get the the centerpiece one but i was like i don't know it's like 50 or 60 bucks and yeah and that one does look fun it does look neat uh, but I decided to pick this one up because it was pretty inexpensive, uh, maybe 10 bucks or something like that. And uh, it looks cute. And I'm going to put it like, I don't and know. And it's of the time right now. My actual daffodils are out there blooming. It blooming sure their are. dumb little heads off. Yeah. And I don't even remember, I don't even remember planting them. I took a picture of them though because they looked real nice. I'll show you all my daffodils because it's flower time with Mike. Oh, that is a nice picture. Right? Look at that. There you go. I mean, the rest of the bed is a complete disaster, but those flowers look nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, just look at the nice part and ignore everything else like i i am probably going to dig up that whole yeah. bed but um these little daffodils are uh doing great there's a couple more yeah. bunches of them but i like them yep uh so i f- also figure that these will be skinny enough that i can put them in like a pen cup or yeah i was curious something well, like that it's hard to tell how large it's gonna really they're be. they're gonna be uh, about a foot tall well, that's still nice. but, i mean okay. fairly skinny it's like a one yeah. piece Stem or something. Although that stem, that piece is kind of weird. I don't know if I've seen a piece like that. Interesting. But yeah, it should be pretty skinny. They have them in vases. I'm like, yeah, I'd like to have a vase of fake daffodils. I think that's adorable. So I got yeah. that. And I got like one other thing. Um, Because like, I don't know, I saw it. I happened to be there. And so I went ahead and got it. No, Mike woke up at the same time I got up so we could get this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The ice cream truck, too. And the donut. Yep. I want to have my mouth, like, right here. Like, donut here. Yep. Just and so also you know. the disco and the record shop and all kinds of stuff there. Also, all seven of the BTS boys. You just really... Greg must be really disappointed right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have a place to put the Lego the yeah. Death Star, if I'm honest. Like, that thing is massive. And I don't have a place for it. It's too big. This, yeah, and this sold out like immediately on the site, apparently. Yeah. Because it came out at midnight, apparently. Yeah, it just sold right out. And apparently, then, it was sold out globally uh, yeah. in half an hour, yeah. according to news stories that Google told me about. Yeah. So. And so, you, if you, if you would like this, definitely check the website and look at the store nearest you, because that's the only place you'd be able to find it. Maybe. Only maybe. Uh, saw Jetpens has BTS Uniballs. Remember that. We'll go look here in a second. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I haven't put this together yet. 749 pieces. It's one of the idea series, which has come up by yeah. come up with by people. Yeah. Um, and so like just a couple of people put this together and like figured it out. Yeah, some fans just like, this needs to be a Lego thing. It's got a stage. Yep. It has like gears and stuff underneath so they can, like, they can dance and stuff, which is fun. What, I, I looked at a review of it, and people were that like... That looks so fun. I did not realize that it did that. It's a detachable stage. It does yeah. a bunch of moving and stuff. Yeah. Um, I was looking at a review, and like, it's pretty simple, but it's got a lot of interesting little details. So they all come with microphones. These aren't microphones. Those are army bombs. 
Yeah. Those are definitely the, yeah. the light sticks that are right behind us. Yeah. Well, it, oh. yeah, I think those are under bones. I also really enjoy the record um, because it actually has different mm-hmm. covers for their different albums. Like that's the Wings and yeah. the Soul. So that's a nice little touch they added there too. Yeah, apparently there are a zillion stickers in this one, which like oh. apparently like Lego aficionados hate that. Oh, because they feel like it's kind of cheap. Because you're like, you're, instead of having it at like the brick has that thing on. Instead it. of like making a brick do yeah. the thing, you're, but yeah. also like you couldn't do that with a brick. Like yeah. you know, you can't do an album cover with that. Yeah. So uh, I think it'll be totally fine. That's actually why I keep these tweezers in here is for things like Lego stickers and, and not flake stickers and flake stickers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is very pretty cool. I'll probably put this together on Monday. Where or did, this weekend or something. You can take the donut off, and JK's holding. The donut. Like well, he used in the di- video. That's a different donut. That's not this donut. Obviously, duh. You said you can take the donut off and put it on. Well, it normally goes right there. Oh. And they took it off. Oh, really? I mean, oh. that's what it looks like. I don't know. I think it's just a door to a donut shop. Well, where did this donut come from? It's th- not it's always just, in no, his it's, hand. It's not there. It's just an extra piece. Well, where did this donut come there's from? There's also like ice cream and stuff like that in here. Like there's all kinds of... I don't know why I'm so shook about that. I'm really <laughs> You're like, not. Tell me, explain this donut to me. Also, there's a, a basketball. I don't know. This is going to be fun. because well, they have the, the the part where Shug is dancing. Well, I know, part? but like you don't okay. you see a lot of basketballs in Lego. So, oh, okay. You know. Well. Fire hydrant. We got a mailbox. I, look, I think this is fun, and I'm gonna enjoy putting it together. Palm trees. You got a little bit of everything. Well, I can't wait to see where that donut comes from. <laughs> it's gonna come from a tiny bag. Is where it's gonna come from. Well, <laughs> actually, it might come from a regular size bag. I think there's only four bags in this one. So, uh, compared to some of the other Lego sets I've done, it'll be a you know pretty quick one. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, pretty psyched about that. The the line outside the. Oh, EPS is small. Is it? Who knows who it's for? Yeah. Uh, the line outside the the Lego store was a little alarming when I got there. It was kind of like around the corner and stuff. It wasn't super long because yeah. I got there early, which was good. But it was keep keep, keep an eye on. See if it's coming this way. I don't. I'm not I expecting so. anything, but no. uh, it's a four bagger. That's right. Oh, I do have something coming today. That's probably something. Yeah, it's coming. He's. Go- it can't. It's not that important. Hey. It's just press samples from. Zoya nail polish. Maybe we could do a little unboxing if you want to. Um, go grab it. We're not doing anything else. Uh, yeah, the line was kind of weird We're not doing and diverse. Anything else. We're talking about Lego. Well, that's here. true. Legos. <laughs> Legos. Uh, um, we uh, it'll be in a tiny Dunkin' Donuts box. No, they they aren't getting Dunkin' and BTS licenses. That'd be too much. No, that's way too much. Um, but uh, the line had like little kids. There were some like way older people than I would expect to be there. There were a bunch of dudes in like, like, I don't know, like wearing like shirts with guns on them and stuff. I'm like, I don't think they're here for BTS, but one of them did actually buy the BTS set. A lot of people there for like Lego Technic and stuff. So all kinds of cool stuff. The Lego typewriter does look cool. I like it, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, I, I do kind of consider it, but it does look cool. I like these new Lego sets. Also, with Lego boxes that came with random pieces. No, you can totally do that. You can buy those too. Yeah, those are still around for sure. You actually get like a giant bucket of Legos if you want to still. I never got the giant bucket. I got, you know, smaller things that I eventually made stuff out of. But uh, yeah, you can still get those. Uh, I like the sets for, uh, for like for me because I'm not going to, I want to like build a thing and then kind of like have it, you know, like as a display. I've got a lot of Legos around here. Hey! People caught me. I'm wearing my jeans. Crocs. I'm oh. no. I'm not embarrassed to be wearing jeans. Oh. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. They still make them. Yeah. Lego classic creators. You still get them. Like this, yeah. the big, the big tub. Hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I love the big tub. Of yeah. This that's water. what Ruth was saying. She really likes the sets, but she also re- they gave you more of those brushes. I have so many of these brushes. Yeah. If you have Zoya's. And you want the wide brushes, please let me know. I have like 50 of them or I don't even know <laughs> how many I have. But they send them with every collection. I can't get them to stop. <laughs> it's an unreasonable So I just have so many. Crocs are the most comfortable shoes. I was just wearing these, um, they're like the fuzzy lined ones for like house shoe type things. And you've been liking them, right? So, oh, weird. They you just got like one corrupted. One just got, yeah. So... Uh, one of these days I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll get some to wear around the house or something. You just got a pair, though, so. I did just get a pair of, uh, 
Of those. Well, I might get a pair for like the yard or something. I don't know. I need something to work on. We're croc around. people now. Well, I don't know about me. <laughs> well, yeah, well. So here's the colors. No, also, this is going to be a cool that's color. That's the spring or the transitions one. It's it a is. nice rosy color. Aubergine. This is the same on both sides, huh? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah, I think I've worn mm. a couple of these. I just haven't finished them. But. Bam. That was what was in the. I This is technically the spring. They always have one that's winter spring time that's in january or february so <laughs> where are there 12 are you a witch yeah we have extra fingers yeah uh <laughs> if you if you could have an extra finger on each hand which finger do you want it to be like where on my hand well or? like i mean you've got like these number these are your fingers like which finger would you like two of uh my index finger right here two oh, so an extra index finger right yeah. here yeah, I was thinking either that or an extra thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe just two middle fingers. No. Okay. Give people just four birds. I mean, <laughs> but it might look weird. Like, it's oh, not it would look be weird, the same right. oh, yeah, feeling. Because yeah, it's not true. the balance of the hand yeah. with the, the middle. It's not really the middle anymore because there's six. So it's not going to yeah. be the same. Uh, do an extra pinky. Yeah, extra pinky actually might be the move. It, there that, is... that was that was really my consideration. These two, forget about it. Nope. Besides yeah. the middle finger being yeah, the middle finger being fun. Right? Yeah. But yeah, the three I was really trying to consider. And I went with the index because there was the room here. Hmm. But thumb and even pinky will be good. Yeah. I, I know, know there was a there's like a glove thing or like an attachment you can get that gives you I forget if it's either an extra thumb or an extra pinky. But like mm. I, it like connects up to some like I don't know nerve or some mm -hmm. or some tendon. I forget how it is actuated, but like you can learn to use an extra thing. Let me see if I can find that sixth finger. So it's like the cat, but a human. Uh yeah, something like that. Um, it, it's like kind of cybernetic, you know. Hmm. Don't forget, we Wait. still have to look at that BTS gel stream. Can't see my Polydactyl. keyboard. There we go. Six finger. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's 3D printed. Yeah, you control it by moving your toes. That's weird. My toes don't do work well. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, interesting. Actually, from muscles are measured by sensors. Yeah, you can, it's like an extra pinky that goes on the other side. Apparently, it doesn't uh, take all that long to get used to and uh, becomes like super useful and productive. Like people learn to type with that extra finger and stuff, even, That's cool. which is pretty wild. But yeah, you move it with a toe or something. Yeah, I don't know. It seems neat, and I want it. Uh, give me an extra. Give me an extra finger. So many extra fingers. All right, let's see what's in this uh, Daydreaming Spring 2000. Is it okay if we show this on the interwebs? I think so. They sent it to me. All right. I mean, if not, I'm just going to get thrown off PR. Wow. She did not like that. Well, how about an extra arm? I mean, sure. Obviously, an extra arm would be cool. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I got it. I got you it. I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. Sure. I'm really not. I know how to open those things. Okay. All right. I just stick a little knife on the edge and just pop it out. I'm not going to cut anything. Jeez. Ta-da! Oh, yes. I'm so hungry. Oh, good. Delicious silica gel. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, these look pretty good. I like that. Which one's your favorite? You can also... Oh. a bigger... They're all shimmers. That's weird. Yeah, how about yeah. that? The last two are very metallic, molten. David says you can't color. eat it. Sorry. What? Well, you to tell me what I can and can't eat. <laughs> like the copper uh, and the red. Yeah, the copper is really cool. I like that. It's pretty neat. They do these really well. They're, I call them glass flecks. So they're not. They're shimmery, but it's sort of clear. Some of them. You can see it's a lot of gold in it, but also some of the mm. base color as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, these interesting, like, colors on mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's neat. I think that's a good little lavender. I like that. 
The blue yeah. is pretty cool. I like it's how it's kind of a... Lilac. Yeah. So the names. I like this bright blue. I think that's nice. And still no Audrey. Just just throwing that out there. Still no Audrey. Wow. Yep. Kira. Wow. Marie. Tara. T-E-R-R-A. Is that this one? No. Weak. Which one is it? S that's this one? No, it should be this one. It's like dirt or something. Uh, Tara's this one. Um, Tink. Tink. T-I-N-K. Sipsy, S I P S E Y, hmm. and Yardley. Are these supposed to be people's names, really? They go with names. They've been classic. Nobody's yeah. ever been named Sipsy. Look, there could be. Yeah, Sipsy. Like Tinkerbell. Like, correct. Uh, S I P, yeah. S I P S E Y. All right, I'm going to look it up. Sipsy. Let's see if there's ever been a human person named this. Sipsy. Sipsy Wilder. Sipsy Wilderness. That's a place. The Sipsy River. Sipsy Wilderness. This is in Alabama. Sipsy Wilder makes uh, big bags. Oh, my. Mike. Oh, snap. <gasps> Look, well, look you need garden. that. You need oh. a garden bag, Mike. Actually, my Auntie Fresh Marge. Fresh veggies actually. and follow the ferns. I was looking at it and it just, <laughs> yeah. 30 bucks. That's not bad. I should go to this for Marge, huh? Not uh, sure. Yeah. All right. We'll keep this up. Oh, Two look at this. Two in a pod. Enamel pins. Though. Look at these. Pins. I had a good laugh with my uh, ADHD doctor today about pens and pens. Because uh, he's like, oh, you got anything you know, planned coming up? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to a pen show. He's like, oh, what now? I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. no, I know. It's like a trade show for pens. He's like, like P I N or P E N. I'm like, no, not pins. And he laughed because we had the same like kind of accent. Uh, and uh, I was like, yeah, my wife with her good non regional addiction can say those words yeah. differently, but not me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Try the nail polish in your journal. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually. always work well with all papers. Um, well, my journal's made of the Cosmo Airlight. It'll probably handle it. What I often do, if you wanted to swatch them, just put them on the box. I, well, you can put them on the box, but sometimes what I do is put them up here, above the thing. Yeah. Like, I put it right in that. Yeah, you want to do it? I don't care. All right, go for it. You should do it because you don't <laughs> normally do nail stuff. Yeah, it's not why. as fun. I, we want to see you deal with that. Let's see me try this. I think Mike should be Mickey Mouse's cousin. <laughs> why should I be Mickey Mouse's cousin? Uh, I'm going to say out of context banana hammock. What? <laughs> From po uh, polish to bags to pens, trifecta complete. Exactly. Blue. That is blue. Who do you think of when you hear Marie? Dead or alive, it doesn't matter. Antoinette. Mm -hmm. Also, a Letterkenny joke where they're talking about um, uh, they're remaking it in Quebec and it's going to be something about Marie instead of something about Mary. <laughs> Curie, okay. Yeah, Marie Curie. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to date myself, but <laughs> wow. I would say, I mean, I think I'm so awesome. Take yourself out to a nice dinner. Yeah, and, nice uh... steak dinner. Um, <laughs> I was going to say Osmond. Oh, wow. I would never have gone with that one. Really? Yeah. Why? I had to think about who that even was. It's not really? A, yeah. It's you got, just really messed that up. I did. I almost um, said another word, <laughs> word there. <laughs> wow, don't do that. No. Yeah. Uh, during the Baltimore show next week? I mean, I might. Don't threaten me with a good time. I usually keep my toes painted, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. What do I have on there now? I love pizza so much. Yeah, it's a, it's a nail polish called I Love Pizza So Much. I don't know what that reference is for. I forget, but it's like that's got to, obviously, I got to use that one. I am not into hollow taco. No. So I will leave it at that. I don't own any. I'm just not a huge fan of Christine. Yeah, she's not real cool to small makers is what yeah. I hear. So, all right, well, there you go. Those have been, uh, I mean, they're still quite nice. Yeah, they're they're very, very, very wet. This one know. is... That, that's thick. 
Look at that. Well, there was a block that I, fell oh, off I of I saw. It. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying that as a nail professional, I would have been able to smooth that out a little bit better. Oh, if I, I cared, I would have. I just said I didn't care about that. How dare you not care about my press samples? Well, you're not. Zoya is. This is very important to them, obviously. <laughs> okay. Well, look. I'll just do it again. I think that I'm not sure. These might be three coaters, at least two coaters, depending on length mm, of your nails. Mm -hmm. Probably a two. Those are two. Sit down. I'll fix it. It's too wet now. It's fine. It's just going to make it bald in one spot. No, no, it'll be fine. They can't see your work. I told you, you're just moving around a glop. I, I warned you. I mean, they're all like that, so. Well, I didn't like how you did it anyway for those either. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, Wow. I like how she's like, no, you should you should do it because you don't do it very often, and then she just makes fun of me. That's good. Just wait till I do your makeup for uh, for the show days. You're gonna come out looking amazing. That's how I would have done it. Look, you did a better job than me. It's uh, it's fine. It's fine. Are uh, these nail polishes? Yes, we checked out. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, Audrey has a nail polish blog. You want to tell people about your blog? It is right on the nail. R i g h t o n n a i l. Well, right on the nail. Sure. Right on the nail. Yep. And, yeah. People send me stuff to swatch, and I just buy it for myself as well. The thing is, they have so many pre-orders now mm. that are only good for a certain amount of time, so you have to pre-order it, and then it's not around anymore. So a lot of the polishes I buy these days, I can't show because I don't want to show things that people can't buy. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, I put my Hobonichi. Well, I have, I don't really use my Hobonichi for that, but I will try it in this. This is uh, this is Cosmo. Which one should I do? Which one did I like most? What's Marie Osmond known for? She was a very um. She's known for being related to Donny Osmond. That <laughs> that's all I know the about her. Little show called The Partridge Family back in the day. Wait, did Claire burn me? Who did Claire burn? Oh, thank you, Claire. And oh. Laura, both of you are right on it. And there was the Donnie Marie show after the Partridge Family. Yeah, they were in the Partridge Family. Are you joking? No. Oh yeah. No. You're older than me by years. How yeah, I, didn't I, was not, I didn't get to watch TV. I didn't growing up. I, I didn't never, have cable. I it was not on when I was but born. But you had cable though. You had that Nick at Night. I never had cable. I, I don't know if it was on then. Yeah, that went fine. <laughs> Sometimes it soaks it up weirdly, and that's the thing. It depends on I, some of the paper. I figured this paper wouldn't soak it up because this paper yeah. doesn't really want to soak up anything. Yeah. She's so. also the face of Nutrisystem. Yeah, that's right. She's been that for a long time. Wow, Nutrisystem. Yep. I forgot that existed. Oh, I was going to put this back in there, but it's still wet. Uh, let's see. What is this oh. one? What did I just use? This has got to be Sipsy. Sipsy. Yep. What nib is that? It's a Naginata Toki. Oh. What's that ink? I have questions. <laughs> you do. This is... Is this Hana? Hmm. Well, you asked, so now you gotta move your legs just a little bit. This is one of the Yurimiku inks. Um, which I just put in a pen. Oh, for Zoya, they're probably not wanting me to say this, but they have really good sales. So I would not buy them right now. They will have sometimes up to 50% off or mm. more. Do it then. And usually I post to places mm -hmm. or maybe I'll try and mention it the next time they have their big sale. They had one for President's Day. So I'll <laughs> Need a Mountain of Ink style blog matching inks to nail polishes. You know, we used to do that I actually. I used to nibs and nails. Yeah. yeah, it used to be called nibs and nails. We used to do that. It never yeah. really took off though. I mean, it was kind of fun, and we had, um, there is a, a nail polish for Cheerio Water Bus. There is, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, um, oops. That's this one. Um, Sailor hmm. Hanaga Koro. Yeah, it's that sort of murky It actually turns into a blue-black, yeah, blue is what black, it does. Yeah. It doesn't really go down blue-black. It goes down a whole different color, mm -hmm. and then it dries blue-black. Yeah. And I've got Date in a 1.1 uh, stub. Which I really like. Uh -huh. It turns into a nice purple. Yeah, these things, does. you know, when you did we did the swatches of them, mm -hmm. like these all look the same. Yeah, they don't. It turns mm -hmm. out when you put them in pens. So like these two, 
I thought these were gonna look, uh, you know, pretty much the same. Or really, I thought um, Kokoro there was gonna look just like the the Date mm -hmm. one I just showed, and it actually turns out to be a very different set of, sort of color. Not really blue black at all. It's something else. So you might remember um, so. Brie Osman for the I I always think of the part where she has a song with Donnie where she sings I'm a little bit country and he goes I'm a little bit rock and roll. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I know that song. I didn't know that was them. <laughs> I, I think it's And I'm them. not sure either of them are either country or rock and roll. <laughs> so. Well, they're talking about how she does more country music, apparently, which oh. I, I, I don't. I never watched the show. I didn't listen to the music. It was just, yeah, I, right. they were popular for <laughs> a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I have, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> got nothing. Yes, Ruthie, you, you missed some um, <laughs> some talk of nail polish. We talked about different Maries. <laughs> it's been a time. Been this a is time. what happens when you don't have any um, new stuff. I mean, next week's going to be Baltimore, and the week after that we'll have all the things to talk about. So this week's just a little bit, you know, all over the place. There we go. There we go. Now I have, oops. I have a little note about what that is. Bam. It takes forever to dry on this paper. Uh, Cosmo Arlette is just not my favorite paper overall. I don't like the feel very much. It does look kind of cool when it dried there. It went, uh, you know, sort of lighter blue. It gave me more shading, which is interesting. So, are you looking at the Partridge family? <laughs> uh, same engine. Oh, I see. They were ubiquitous. Yeah, totally. Um, but I, I don't have anything. <laughs> Mary says uh, that Mary says she hate watched DNM as a kid. <laughs> oh man! Uh, now you're gonna tell no, me no one was the Barbie. They were totally not on that. Then how do I know them? I didn't think they were on that. That didn't because it's David Casty who was in yeah, what so else many was things. He in? And uh, and Danny the, ba the Badaduch. Uh, yeah, Danny Badaducci. Yeah, who is now a? I mean, he turned into a fighter. I guess. <laughs> I don't know if he was ever really like a pro boxer, but he did some like boxing matches. I think it was one of those like, you know, uh, celebrity boxing sort of things. Didn't he fight Cake Boss or something like that? He fought somebody weird. I don't know. The height of their fame was in the early to mid 70s. Yeah, uh -huh. I, wasn't a, I wasn't around. Oh, you know what? I went to uh, my jet streams, uh, jet, jet streams, jet pens uh, that I already had up. And the first thing is uh, mm. BT21 three color ballpoint from uh, Jetstream. That's fun. Add to cart. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Let's see what else they got here. There's so many of them. Oh, they got a bunch of them. You're going to have to do some picking. Oh, why are they so expensive? If they're $3, you're like, get all of them. Well, they're, uh, they're a multi pen. I'm not a 90s baby, but thank you. I mean, obviously That's I have orange. to get that one. Yeah, it's, it's orange RJ, and it's RJ, yeah. so obviously I have to get that one. Yeah. Uh, the problem is they're all the same. They're all uh, red, blue, black, I think. So, I mean, the jet pens, or jet pens, goodness. Jet streams <laughs> on jet pens is like driving me nuts. Oh, here we go. Here's the whole set. So the purple mm -hmm. one is all of them together. I guess most of them are, I guess both of these are kind of a bunch of them. Yeah. I don't know, is there one that you want particularly? Did they just like pick the pot? Like, where's Shooky? I don't, I don't see Shooky at all. No. I'm shook. He's right there. But, come on. Right Why there. does he have curler in his hair, too? Uh, he's right here as well. Oh, my stomach's ground. Ooh. Oh, they're at a slumber party. So, like, RJ's got a hat on. They've all got PJs. So he's just got his hair in a curler because he can't wear PJs. He's a cookie. Shooky's in a stroller with Cookie. Okay. See that? I see. That's yeah, cute because I think the the they're donut holes. Oh. I really have donuts on the mind. <laughs> you do. Is there a particular one of these that you would like to have the most? I mean, we have to have the orange one. Obviously. I think we should have the purple one. That's the slumber party one. Okay. Because it's appropriate. Done. They're both in the cart. Bam. There we go. They're uh, the members? Justice for Shooky. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm shook. I am. Is the purple one Barahe? I mean, sure. If only. Yeah. They, I mean, like, if I could sell that uh, right. color to, to Jet or to Uniball, that'd be great. Did you know? Apparently, I don't know anything about the Osmonds besides two of them, and there's a ton of them. But also. 
<laughs> they are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. I had no idea. That you mean part. Mormons? Look, that's what <laughs> they use the whole thing. Okay. Well. Wow. Yeah, I can't. I can't go shopping on jet pens, and I can't go shopping you can get on. The, you can get the deep space there. Huh? How about that? Huh? It's the seasonal. Yeah. That one is very spangly. That was yeah. That is just all dots on that one. Maybe they just use super bright lighting. Maybe the lighting is just really. Well, I think they're all just a little bit out. different. Well, I mean, sure, yeah, they are. Big Mormons, huh? Who knew? Hmm. Yeah. That's probably why there's so many kids and stuff. And mine looks, mine looks different. Oh, it does have a bunch of the, st the same yeah. like little white dots. Maybe they I are think, using just different lighting. I think it's different lighting, and they're just using um, not a filter, but you can make yeah. it where Those add the pop. contrast and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, they're all gonna look different too. Yeah. Like this one has smaller amounts of the this stuff that I have a bunch of here in the middle. Yeah, but that's cool. All right. Oh. Huh. They say which size this is. I'm just psyched they've got uh tactile <laughs> turn on jet pens. Like that's great. Super psyched about that. Good on them. That's just the, that's the one they have there. How about that? Sakura craft gel pen. These look kind of fancy. Also are 50 bucks, but yeah. you know. Oops. <laughs> yeah, they're Oz was the Mormon version of the Jacksons. <laughs> wow. Huh? I didn't even I had no idea. Speaking of Shooky, are you watching True Blood? <laughs> That's Shooky. That's Shooky. Yeah. <laughs> Very close. This looks cool. Can I get one of these? $636. Woo! 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 I could, uh, I could contact and Coles. I bet they'd give me one to, to check out anyway, to yeah, review. Yeah, just to show. I, it reminds me a little bit of my orange pen from Carolina Pen Company. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. Yeah. I mean, not in the shape, but I mean, in terms mm. of the color and translucency. I like these, uh, the hook safe uh, cap system. That's my, my favorite cap system from Visconti. I think that's good. Yeah, I need to ask, um, I need to make some notes. There's a child in the Osmonds whose name is Virl. V I R L. Huh. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Ask. Holes about. They had nine children: George Verrill Osmond Sr. and Olive Osmond. In Ogden, Utah. Verrill and Tom were both born with severe hearing impairments. Russell just said two of the brothers have hearing issues. I think they're the two oldest. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Well. Uh, listen, I don't even know why we're. I'm sorry. I'm you're sorry. Really, you really like went down a rabbit hole with I, the I, Osmonds. Yeah. All right. Look, please go. To, okay, good. Um, I was just thinking I haven't gotten stuff from Jet Pens in a while. I gotta go and see what they have. So this is pretty good timing. Look at these fun, uh, these fun stamps. Stamps. Fun. You get a caution stamp. Look at that. That's fun. That's a stern look. That is a stern traffic cone. What does it say? I don't know. Anybody know um, that language? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Jet language. I mean, I, yeah, probably so. You're probably right. doesn't say where it comes from. Oh, my stomach's growling hard. If you are on the Frank Christoph email list, then you should have gotten a $5 coupon oh. to use on something. So if you are um. on that list, definitely check your email. This one's good too. This is a coffee. It just says good. That's sometimes what you look like when you've had coffee. You mean every day because I always have coffee? You do always have coffee. Uh, what else we got here? Anything? I think those are the two best. I probably won't get both of them, but <laughs> closed. Just a closed sign. It looks uh, kind of meh. Ambivalent. <laughs> Ambivalent. Oh, there we go. This is a good look at all of them. <laughs> Cheer up. Yeah, those are my favorite ones. The coffee and the and the <laughs> the cone. I wish I knew what they said. Yeah, it doesn't say. The brand? I don't actually know what the brand is. Iconic Cafe. I mean it might say the brand. Oh, it's Korean. It says Cafe Diary Stamp. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Well, there you go. Thanks. I see a list of received nothing. You're missing something? Oh. Uh you might want to check your um Check the spam. Yeah, spam folder or something. 
Or it could be like, look, sometimes email just takes a while. These are pretty good, uh, pretty good prices actually for the uh, for the Emporium. I feel like. I feel those go for otherwise because they're very. That's very expensive, Lamy. Lamy. Oh, I guess it's kind of what it's going for in a lot of places. Where did that come up? That's totally wrong. Huh. Five forty nine on there, so that's probably about right. Anyway, whatever. Uh, man, you still kind of totally helped you out with two UFC pins. Thank goodness. Oh, good. There you go. There's a 65 in the stock room, huh? Yeah, I saw that it went up today, I think. Cool. Yeah. Pelican Classic, the Eco T and Saffron, which I got and is beautiful. Uh, oh, I reached out to um, uh, Paper Republic. Is that what it was? Republic, Republic yes. of Paper? People Definitely those two words. I yeah. uh, reached out to them. They're going to be sending me a uh, notebook cover here. Uh, it was actually in the mail. I got the shipping today. So. Wow. Yeah, so I'll have that uh, eventually. Probably, I mean, it'll probably be here week after next because I won't be here next week. Ooh. The Defy. I've got one of this series. Those are fun. Ooh, is it orange? What? Oh, snap. Audrey. That's also uh, Coles. So. I mean, that's not unheard of for a DuPont by any means. I, the price? Yeah. It's actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And it seems like they only ever make these with one nib size, the Defy series. Huh. But the Defy can be any, like, so many different shape. Let's see, do I have mine over here? I think I I think it in, is in the need-to-be-cleaned pile, actually. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I've got one that's got, like, it's, like, got a grill sort of shape going on. But they've always got something interesting. They're all kind of... Yeah. You know, experimental and arty. 316 is not bad. Actually. For uh, DuPont. No, our our animals have never messed with our pens. Mm -mm, no. Surprisingly. Nope. Katie will jump up on my desk and steal, um, uh, what do you call them, paper clips? Yeah, she likes paper clips. And rubber bands? There's a rubber band up there, yeah. But I mean, sometimes she'll go up on your desk and sort of like... Do the slightest of little paw paw at it. She doesn't and, care about the pen. She never goes for pens. It's but she's always trying something, to get something that's in yeah. between or around. Yeah. Usually a paperclip. Yeah. Um, yeah. She goes after a paperclip. She doesn't care about pens, which is great. Su surprising. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. And nose is a disaster, but sometimes he doesn't really do it. No, he doesn't at care all. about that either. So many hobonichis. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, Faber Castell. Ambition, some uh, grip. Oh, they got the grip still. I was wondering if the grip was gone or if it was coming back. Mm -hmm. The yeah. grip is a really nice little uh, fountain pen. I like these. I, very beginner friendly. Yeah. I never reviewed mine because... What do I have? I have... Um, uh, silver? I think mine might just be silver. Something like that, yeah. I think it's just silver. Um, I never reviewed mine because, oh wait, did I get a grip? You know what? I never got a grip uh, fountain pen. I have a grip uh, um, ballpoint. Oh. Yeah. I have the Think, which has like the thumbprint on it. But yeah, the ballpoint is actually really good. I'm trying to see if I have it close enough at hand to grab. Oh, I don't think I do. It's in a drawer somewhere. I'll use that one a little while, but it's real good. Hmm. I just don't see anything on here that I have to have. If y'all see something on here that you want to see me uh, do as a new color, yeah, I think there are a couple of new colors there for the grip. If you some see something on there, uh, let me know, uh, you know, what it is, because maybe I'll do a little review for it. Uh, did you see Marmon's Septicolor notebooks? I love Marmon's Septicolor mm -hmm. notebooks. I have a bunch of those. Those are great. You run, have a great weekend, enjoy the pizza. We will, yes. Laura. You also have a good yes. weekend. Uh, yeah, the Marmon's Septicolor are great. I use those a lot. Uh, for a long time, you thought they were Saint Dupont. Never uh, heard anyone say it, and somehow missed the periods. Yeah, it's ST. I forget what it stands for. It's somebody's name, I want to say. Yeah. Um, but also, ST Dupont and Dupont Chemicals are completely different yeah. things. Uh, I think they actually might have started off as the same brand or something. Mm -hmm. There's some weird thing that went on there. Yes, yeah, speaking of. What? She heard. <laughs> Well, hello. Miroslav said that he likes liked your video you did of the Panther. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, included the WW. Oh, the Wonder Woman one. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that as a Captain Marvel yeah. one, but yeah, for sure. I uh, I had to buy that one. That was that one. was the one that was during the pin show. A I think long it was. Time ago. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you're like, did you order a pen? I'm like, yup. <laughs> Do you regret it? No, absolutely yep. not. Absolutely not. This looks great. Yeah, mustard it's color. It's a very interesting mustard. And it's yeah. called, yeah, mustard. They they nailed it. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as, it's a different pen body than a lot of the other ones. I'll add it to the cart. I'll probably end up with my wish list because I wish they had different colors for this. Do you have an enamel pin? They have an enamel pin now. That's pretty cute. All right, add to cart. 480 is not bad for an enamel no. pin. I'm, um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm getting low on my Coletto refills, hmm. but I've definitely gone through a lot of them. No. I'm getting, I yeah. think my Coletto might have some colors that are toast now too. Yeah, I just finished one last week. Mm. You gonna start doing a, a five year diary? <sighs> Listen to that sigh. Do the cats sit on Audrey like this too? No. Uh, but also you don't try to hold them like this, I don't think. No, none of the animals really sit on me. I encourage it, so. Yeah. <laughs> I've encouraged it. They usually sit next to me. Like mm. Katie will lay right next to me and just like be on her belly and just like wommix mm -hmm. like this and purr very hard. Mm -hmm. And just. You got yeah. new Pelicanos and Pelican Twists. Where Metallic Twists. did I see? You got one. Didn't it have a clip and didn't I break it? Uh, the Pelicano. This oh. One. You have a blue one of these. You broke the clip. I off broke of. that clip pretty pretty early. <laughs> Those clips are, I think, notorious for that. And it's weird they have it on kind of a, a kid pen. Because, like, you, yeah. I, I'm sure all of them that exist have been snapped off because they snap off pretty easy. Yeah. It doesn't affect the pen. But anymore. there's a pink one of the other ones that I've wanted the twist. But mm -hmm. but those are other fun, fun colors, too. Yeah, this metallic red's okay. I like this one. I that's, like that one. Nice. Yeah, I like the gray with Cold the Cold Alaska. Teal. Fresh melon. The Bright ones we like the best are the ones that are out of stock, so. Yeah, we got good taste, I guess. Um, uh, Lamy refills. Nobody is buying these. Don't buy these. These are bad. Wow. These are bad. They're a bad refill. You can get so many other refills on this site that will do the same job as these, and it will make it so much better. When I replaced some of my Lamy 2000 multi pen, I've been so much happier since then. It's probably going to cost less, too. What's that? Oh, what do these cost? $5.50? Oh, it's for a pack of two. So it's probably oh, a pack of two? Well, never mind. It's probably about the same. These Pintel Calme ones, real nice. I like the way these feel. I think they're good. Calme. Calme. Light brown. Yeah. And .5 is always good. Yeah, they're a pretty skinny 0.5, so if you're like a 0.38 fan, you probably like the 0.5s. They're a pretty skinny 0.5, but that's one I carry sometimes. Oh, speaking of things I carry, uh, this weekend, probably this weekend, I'm, uh, I did a video uh, we were talking about here a little bit, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I guess, the like what I used this month kind of video with, you know, things yeah. that I got from uh, from unboxings and yeah, just like stuff I've been using. That's interesting. Well, I mean, I hope they do because I already made the video, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, they're in new colors. Uh, okay, we'll check them out. We'll check them out. Let me see what else is on this page before I do that. Oh, hey, there's the, speaking of the there Kaveco is, things. Yeah. So it's not going to be the Lilliput. That won't work. Perkyo. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they made this for the Perkyo. That might be relatively similar. They it's give... the octagonal one, though. Oh, that's right. It is octagonal. The Supra. The Supra is yeah. round, so it might be that it one. might be that one. It's probably that one. I don't, they don't have dimensions, I don't think. Oh. Sorry. Specifications? Let's see. Let's see how big it's going to be in the inside. Width. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have my caliper handy, but if you have a caliper, you might be able to figure that out. Yeah. It'll be roughly this, I would guess. So. Mm -hmm. um, C, P, P, T. There's no you. Oh, the U's in the wrong place. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Oh, these are new colors. These are nice. They're mm -hmm. nice. Got a lot of grids going on here. Marmon's been coming to pin shows, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. I had to but actually they didn't sell at the last one, which they didn't sell at either of the ones they've been I to. Mean, yeah. People want to sell. Uh, people want to buy. If they're at a show, they want to buy. Paint some pelican twist, semi transparent red, and call it the poor man's decapod twist. Right. There you go. There you go. Such hot takes. I'm all about some hot takes. Uh, yeah, these are good. I like them. Fourteen seventy-five. It's a little. Oh, it's an eighty-five. It's a big one. Um, it's got a lot of pages too. That's more pages than I'm used to in these. 
Yeah, 200 pages. That's a lot of pages for, for these, yeah. Or for sheets. It's 400 pages. Look how red this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's 200 pages, 100 sheets. That's what I said. Oh, okay. Um, yep, yeah, these are good. Grab some. I don't need them, but they're pretty good. Shipping paper to shows would be tough. Yeah, I mean, that's true. They do bring paper, but um, it's kinda, they bring some and like give them away, I think, usually is what they do. So, all right, I didn't see a huge number of things that I had to have. Like, the cart's not that thick, and I wasn't going to get all of these things. But um, These are the jet streams I like, by the way. These right here. Mm -hmm. The SXR8005s, multi-pin refills. These are great. I just kind of keep them uh, those frequently bought with items in my yep. cart. Yeah, well, oh, frequently bought by me. What's see? something they could potentially do is if some, if they had like somebody that was going to be at in that general area that could bring paper that is a distributor or whatever. Oh yeah. And then do it that way. Sort yeah. of like what happens with, um, drum rules and stuff where they mm -hmm. send you off to or like. Uh, Ken row and stuff they're like they're just there showing stuff but then they always have somebody there oh, yeah. that's selling it and then mm -hmm. you know what i mean something like that so at least they can somebody can go buy it right away if they want to tell you which table to go to yeah uh crazy allen usually has mormon i think does he uh huh he's at least got some mormon I, yeah. I believe um i forget who else might sell it maybe federalist there was definitely there was definitely another table there of some uh of some indian folks like that family with like the oh you might not have seen them because they were just across from me mm -hmm. they had like a couple of kids I didn't see they seemed them. real nice and I cannot remember what their yeah. vendor's name was but anyway. anyway there will be some Ruth's worried that someone might find her journal start reading and die of boredom see that's my problem once in a while I don't want to sit there and journal every day because I've realized yeah. that a lot of things are just the same things I mentioned over and over so mm. then I just don't want to even do it yeah. and then I'll wait a day I'm like I'll wait till I have something and then. It just gets put off, and that's my problem with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So part of me is like, well, why don't I do something when something's different? I'll write stuff when something's different. Oh, I had to cart. Is that, is that two different ones? It's three. Oh, three. Actually. Oh. I, uh, I just logged in. It turns out I already had a cart going. Of course you did. <laughs> it's three. 18 I things in it. I don't think they're three. I think it's just super wide. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just an ultra wide one. These kind of like fit together in a panel style thing. Interesting. So this part really threw me. Like this right here, yeah. Yeah, the line yeah. it sort of visually is cut off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot of washi tape in my cart here. Cause, oh, cause look at these. Baby squirrels. says she's too boring to journal. That's how I feel. Look I mean, the, look at those squirrels and stuff. That's like those are nice. And this just looks like wallpaper that I want. It does. I followed the twig and fig, fig and. What, what is the name of that thing? I get it wrong every time. I'm not even going to try. The ones with the, all of the cute mice and hedgehogs and foxes, The that. We mm -hmm. talked about I squeed over it for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I follow them on Instagram. And it makes me so happy when I see they post things all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, washi tapes are cute. I know, right? I've got a lot of them, but these are super good. When I was at Container Store this last... That was another place I went on Wednesday. I struck out at so many places. Uh, went to a container store. They didn't have anything I wanted. Uh, they did have a washi tape, like a specific washi tape box sort of thing. Mm. But it was quite yeah. expensive. Oh, and I'm like, mm. It's a container uh, store. And I mean, like, with the number of washi tapes I have, I would need <laughs> several of them. Uh, yep. Went and shopped for shoes. They didn't have the shoes I wanted. Oh, went to the rack. They didn't have any clothes I really wanted. Or the ones I wanted were, you know, just yeah. like, uh, it didn't fit. Danger container. Yeah, I hadn't been to a container store in a long time. I forgot how expensive they were. Nettle and twig. Thank you, PJ. Thank you. Nettle and twig? Hmm. Yeah, all right. I'll, right. I'll buy that. I or couldn't have told you that. Yeah. I thought it was a fig, but yeah. But yeah, that I place is great. I think you said in the review fig many times and even wrote it out. And then after the fact, you realized that you said it wrong the entire time. Well, I realized it after I filmed it, but before I published it. So I went uh, back and corrected yeah. it in text. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got some good stuff in this cart. I'm gonna just have to buy this cart, eventually, eventually. It's back over here. So like that's gonna stay up. That's over here. Sipsy, we don't need that. Cool. I had a good time, and you're done. 
I'm hungry. Yeah, me and too. you're tired apparently. Well, I like, just uh, started yawning. Yeah, all I've, I think I think literally all I've had today is like a cup of coffee and this much water. <laughs> I think that's all I've had today. <sighs> it's been one of those days. Do you see how long this has lasted on my lips? Like this is crazy. Is that weird? I mean, look, I've been sitting here drinking my Starry all the whole time, and it hasn't been coming off. Not a sponsor yet. Hit us up, Starry. The lips, the lip is from Rare Beauty, not a sponsor as well. Oh, well, we've never had a sponsor. No, so, so you know, no. <laughs> Good Atoma, not a sponsor. Also not a sponsor, <laughs> but it is. I am super a lazy fun. egg, though. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> just like put a piece of bacon over top of you and let you have a weekend. Yeah. Just cover you in bacon. Audrey doesn't eat bacon. I don't eat bacon. <laughs> so. No. Oh, yeah, there's some, there's some of my Legos right right there. Some starships down the bottom level. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Yeah, it is probably about time to get rolling uh, because I'm like, oh, I'm yawning. And I haven't You're eaten. You're yawning. And probably I'm yawning because I haven't eaten. I bet those two things are related. Probably. Running out of, uh, what do you call it? I think everyone will be excited for next week's stream. Next week is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you are not, uh, if you have not seen any of my live streams from uh, pin shows, show up. Uh, the only downside there is that I can't really watch the chat while I'm doing it, yeah. so my attention attention to chat is sporadic at best. Uh, but um, be there or be square. Yeah, be there or be square. I walk around pin shows. I show you what the pin shows like. I introduce you to vendors. I let them talk about stuff if they want to. Some of them are like, eh, I don't really want to be on camera, and that's cool. And others are like, Yeah, let me tell you about this new product or this like thing I'm very excited about that is at my table. I don't know what I would be in that situation. You do. If I you didn't are one. know, because <laughs> you've been in that situation so many times. If it's so a stranger oh. that I've never met potentially mm. that just comes up. And is like, oh, I'm doing YouTube. Do you want to talk about stuff? I'd be like, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I think you'd be fine. You do this enough. That I you, mean, I know. Maybe like several years ago before you've done this. Yes. Maybe. Probably. But like now yeah. you'd be a pro. They'd be like, I, I had no idea that. you would be so uh, effervescent. Um, effervescent? And... I've never been called effervescent. Oh. Greg, Greg Thomason, Thomason, thank you so much for the pizza money. Thank you. W's oh in chat goodness. for Greg's pizza money. Whoop whoop. Could Scraggs was... have some 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 crust? Scraggles. You want crust? Do you like pizza? You guys want pizza? Uh what am I Thank what's my you. start time gonna be? Start time is gonna be probably four, four thirty or so is my guess. But you have um, to give a concrete time, is the problem. Because people don't wanna <sighs> not know. And you know YouTube's terrible a lot telling people that you're going live. That's true. Um Whoa! That I, was a leap. It really a giant was. leap. Okay, Matt. so let's say four. I'm gonna say four. Um, that'll give me plenty of yep. time. Uh the, the only catch is that I'm working for Ian Schoen, and I don't want to, like, disappear. But yeah. uh, I already told him. He knows what I'm, yeah. I'm going to do. It. I've, we've talked about it, so it's cool. But um, if you're going to be at the Baltimore Pen Show, come see me at the uh, Schoen Designs table. I will be helping out my good buddy Ian, just talking about pens with people. And uh, you'll see Audrey. Behind the Frank and Kristoff table. When I say FC, it's Frank and Kristoff. Most people know that, but just in case. <laughs> Some nose cat hair on there for you? That's a, um, yeah. Yeah. Some uh, no, nose hair on there. Look at all this. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. EDT. So, uh... The standard time. The, the, the one true time I'm zone. I'm sorry. Yes, we live on the East Coast and... Yeah. Uh, just, have a dessert, too. Oh, oh thank you so much, thank Jessica. You, Jessica. And we will have a dessert. We will. And Scraggles... She no, that's dessert. mine. I don't give a dessert. I'm not nice. We, I, I'm like I want that. I want that sugar for myself. We tend to get some cinnamon thank sticks, you. and I give her the little ends of cinnamon I cinnamon don't. breads. I give her she most loves cinnamon, of my so. things. Does, will she get some of my Sour Patch Kids? Yes, she loves <laughs> Sour Patch Kids, but uh, she's not getting any of my breadsticks. Like, no. Oh, scotch money. All right. Well, scotch wow. guys, you can't have any scotch. Never mind. Have scotch. Oh, that's because Greg you. can't come to the show next week. Oh, and good luck with them. All right. Yeah, good luck with that. I hope they get Don't your... bring a gun. I hear that's what? probably oh. a bad idea. <laughs> well, yes, obviously. Oh, to the <laughs> <laughs> like, don't bring a gun to the hospital, like, from no, one, but number yeah. two, into the MRI room. That's insane. Yeah. Um, if you so, weren't here earlier. Ollie loves Sour, Sour Patch sense. Kids, too. <sighs> Ollie is a very good dog. Please it, give Ollie some scratches yes, for Ollie Audrey is I. awesome. Um, I miss giving Ollie scratches yeah. at the uh, the California show. Ollie is a very good dog and needs some scratches. Very. Yeah. Well, thank you so <laughs> much, both of you, yeah. for 
Don't forget your yes. pen. Don't worry about it, Denise. Uh, oh, come see me at the uh, the the Inchon table. I will have your pen there. Um, if you ordered something for pen show pickup, I will have it with me oh, at yeah. uh, at Ian's table. Or right, talk to him. He said it was cool. And yeah, let Mike know if there's anything that you want to see in oh. person. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Uh, oh, hey. Wow. Thank you so much. That's a well, super chat, you. I think is what that wow. is. I couldn't even read that. I was like, what does it even say? <laughs> uh, Kuya, Kuya Gords. Thank you very Thank much, you Kuya. So I appreciate much. that. Ma Look at that little, like, I don't know, is that a fox? Is it a Shiba? Should we do it? We're not worthy. The the. <laughs> That's of my time. So that's something that I could say Wayne's role. Wayne's but the world. 90s, I'm a 90s <laughs> person, so I can say that. There you go. Thank you so much uh, for uh, you. so much for that. That's so nice. Um, that's great. I, wow. That's I, great. That's amazing. I, I don't even know how to react. It's yeah, just too this, much. Our, this is our highest grossing show ever. <laughs> really? So thank you so much, y'all. It's the Sour Patch Kids. It's really, you know, by giving it to Scraggles. It was. You know, it's funny. Is like up here in the chat thing, yeah. it has like a little like gray cat or something. Oh, it's a different. Down, down here, it's a whole different thing. Huh. How about Maybe that? it's the i no, it's Maybe. not the icon. Though. I think this is a I think this is a new thing that oh. um, YouTube has added in to streams. Yep. So that's great. Um, so, that's super fun. So yeah, I hope they get your uh, your foot situation figured out there, Greg. And thank you very much for the uh, the dessert and uh, and fox money uh, there, folks. I think I'm we're really into pancake it. money and all. The, you know, I think <laughs> we're right. into other meals that we get now. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, I mean, maybe we just stick around because, like, the money just keeps coming no, in. It'd be a shame to. I don't, I don't want to jinx that. <laughs> They're like, oh, it went away. Oh, they took their money back. They they went to their credit card and were like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, JK. <laughs> Uh, keep getting taken away by phone calls about the basement fiasco. Goodness, oh. it was two months old, so you're going to be able to retire. Wow. Oh, wow. oh yeah, we're totally going to be able to retire. <laughs> Look, one of these days might happen. Like, subscribe, pizza, and Sour Patch Kids. I do have some Sour Patch Kids. That is a tradition for Audrey's uh, candy on, on the weekends. She is a she is very good the rest of the week and like uh, doesn't eat candy and stuff. I am strict yeah. good most days. And look. And on Friday during the day, I'm still good. Yeah. Friday night late. Yeah. And Saturday I'm bad. Mm -hmm. Sunday I'm getting mm -hmm. back. I mean, I have mm -hmm. pizza leftovers, but I generally don't eat a lot of other stuff. Speaking on of Sunday. being good, uh, I have now officially lost uh 20 pounds in the last year that was very loud Sorry. this microphone probably took okay. care of it it's probably fine Oof. yeah uh yeah i still was feeling like sick so hey i uh wow. yeah i can't say that i've been doing strength so i've gained a lot of weight <laughs> yeah look that's because you're strong yeah I mean, you can't really see like i even asked me and mandy at work i was like do, I Do you look... think I've gained a bunch of weight? She's like, no. <laughs> gained a bunch of weight. And I'm like, you well, I off. have, just so you know. <laughs> but I never weigh myself until I go to the doctor. Uh, and then I'm like, things well, are... Well, when I went to the doctor today, I me, did weigh so. like an extra six pounds. But that's just like uh, shoes and like jeans sure. and like my... I was, I'm like, Nobody I gets it on the scale at home. <laughs> I you are always as naked as the day you're born when you go on the scale. Am I Look, right? When she weighed me, I was like, uh, that's seven pounds too high. Uh, I'm going to need you to write down uh, this number instead, uh, which is 240. It's not like it's a low number, but I'm like, you need to write it down 240 because that's what I actually weigh. And she's like, I don't know. It says, I'm like, look, I'm coming here and you're in here in a Speedo next time if you don't write down 240. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be a, a trench coat and a Speedo and I'll be getting out here in my swimwear. <laughs> you, you know, if you're weighing yourself at home, you yeah. wake up, you pee, and then you weigh yourself completely buck naked. That so is, you're, that's, that's that's your true weight right there. That's not, All of it out. Just, that's not what I do, but I do it like before I shower, whenever it is that I shower. So that's, it can be no, any time I, Nope, I want to see the uh, lightest as possible. It's mostly because I don't really care. I just think it's fun to watch the, the graph or whatever, but yeah, whatever. See, I can't, I can't do that anymore because... I would be. I didn't too actually. Upset I didn't actually say about. that, but I. I did say uh, that's 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 clothing weight. I would never threaten my my doctor's office with wearing a speedo. <laughs> they they didn't sign up. For I that. mean, that would be very funny. It's not that kind of doctor. <laughs> it's not. Mm, no. Uh, <laughs> See, I I, I I I like to think that I'm not the only one that would do that does that. Again, I don't do it anymore because again, it's the way to mentally go. I know. Weighing more is not a bad thing in my yeah. situation, but I, I yeah. traditionally you always think, "Oh, I'm heavier. I, that's mm. unhealthy. That's bad." Yeah. So, which is like, apparently nonsense. Yeah, and just like a thing that is and proven so nonsense. I, these that's days, why I but, don't even weigh myself. Yeah. It's like anyway. my clothes are fitting even better. So, <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right, folks, that's it for uh, what is this? Keep it up. Thank you very much, hey, PB. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this sticker. That's uh, that's a lot of fun. That. Thank that, you so much, That PB. was me earlier today. It was that literally was you. That's what I, that's exactly well, me. Well, you don't wear that head. I wear the headband. You do. I used yeah. to. When I first started working out, I, I was like hard. Summer. No, I Ooh. would not even, uh, I would not even threaten that. Uh, that's for the OnlyFans. Uh, I can't be. Uh... <laughs> you said you've been to a nudist beach before, though. Uh, yeah, it was Sorry, technically. Sorry, that's more aside. Well, clothing optional. It wasn't. Where? Where are the? Where is yours? Austin, Texas, is where. There is one. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Some of y'all down in the the Austin area would remember. Uh, oh. I mean, it's still there, I'm sure. Uh, but it was wow. like a campground and like a beach and stuff. And um, it was with it was my friends uh, Andy and Garrett and uh, maybe Chris. You might remember Chris from our wedding. We came up with them. Um, oh, that Chris. We, stayed, like at our, like we stayed at his house. We stayed at his house for Garrett's very wedding. Very good friend. What are you talking? No, about? a different Chris. More yeah. different Chris. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we went to, where did we go? We went to like a water park. I think we went to Schlitterbahn maybe, or we were doing something around that area. Oh, we went tubing at uh, New Braunfels. Oh, yeah. And then we were looking for a place to camp because it turned out like none of us thought about this, but it was also Father's Day weekend, I want to say. And like, I mean, like we just didn't think about it. Yeah. And apparently you really need to have a, like a reservation for a campground yeah. that weekend. And so we were like just trying to find some place that had open camping Spot, spots, yeah, yeah. and uh, that did. So did you know about that place beforehand? No. Oh. Okay. Um, we just uh, how did we find it? I think it was just seen like a, a sign on the highway. It's like yeah. you know such and such campground. And we're like yeah. sweet, let's go. And uh, we're like that's a campground. And so we like went over to try it. Yeah. And um, so we went there. I don't remember. If, I don't think we stayed. Um. It drew you out. You're like, no. No, no, no. I I think, <laughs> no, um, because they didn't have tent camping. They were like an RV place, uh, really, like RV yeah. and beach. And so we ended up going to like yet another place that had a campground, and that was actually pretty dope. It had like uh, like right on the river. It was real nice. But uh, we did end up at a uh, surprise clothing optional campground slash beach. Wow. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember what it's called. Anybody uh, say what it was? No, a bikini. No, I, I mean, it'd be weird if I wore a bikini. Uh, clothing optional pen show. Mm. I'm not going to start that trend. That's for sure. Jessica, enjoy your pizza as well. Yes, pizza is good. I, man, I can't wait. So all the nudist, not nudist, but optional places I've been, I've either been like, there's like the cruise. Like if you're on the top shelf of the cruise, you can have top optional. And then foreign countries where they're like, they don't. Care. Oh, I think it might have been this one. Hippie Hollow. I think it was. This you one. went to Hippie Hollow. Is the name? Wow. That must be it. <laughs> like, because it's like uh, just outside of uh... Hippie Hollow Park. No, no, that's not Ranch it. Ranch Star Nudist Club. Who knew Texas was so conservative? They have all these places. Wow. Well, is that is this Austin? It's uh... a nudist park. That's the RV one. No, oh, that's just... a different one. That was a different, yeah. Well, I actually haven't zoomed out enough. Uh, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. This is going to be Austin, right? Yeah, Waco. Yeah, it's weird. You can't see the name of the... the oh, there it was. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep, that must have been it. Yep, Look, it has 4.6 out of 5 stars with over 1,000 reviews. Uh, 2,100 photos. 20, 1,300 reviews. That's that's some good reviews right there. People are happy at Happy Hippie. <laughs> or Hippie Hollow. <laughs> happy Hippie. Uh, no, this is definitely it. Because that's um, we were going down this. and that's there's, It's weirdly, there's very few photos. There's 2,000 photos. Of like people? <laughs> well. <laughs> but yeah, this is, um, that's what the ground is like there. So we were like, uh, we can't put a tent here. <laughs> this is not great. We yeah, have boats and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, no, wow. that's uh, we that's what we did. Yeah, uh, I if mean, you're in the Dallas area. No, yeah. no, uh, Austin. Oh, well, that makes it's more it's not that sense far then. from Dallas, but yeah, it's Austin. Yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, uh, a lot of rocks. Yeah, no, it was not. Um, yeah. I mean, probably for sitting, you sit on a rock, I guess. But I don't, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't stay because we 
didn't have an RV. Yeah. We were just really didn't want to sleep in the car or drive home because I was from south of Houston. So that'd be oh, a, that's a long drive. Quite the drive home. Gotta take off. Yeah, we are too. Uh, 637. Look, that was only a 20 minute goodbye. So thanks very oh, much, that's folks. It's very Midwestern. That's it's right. a normal, if it's not a half hour, that's not enough. You yeah, know? fair enough. All right, folks, thanks very much for joining us today. And thank uh, you, everybody, for yeah. all. We're not worth. Well, for the contributions and also yes. just like hanging out and talking. That's great. Um, you can find us uh, here every Friday. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, right there, twitch.tv slash Uh You can find me there on Mondays and Wednesdays right now. Uh, you can send me mail at P.O. Box if you want to say hi. Uh, I, I love getting snail mail there. I got some snail mail the other day I need to respond every to. Every Sunday, Mike goes and gets pancakes. Saturday. Saturday. Yep. I said Friday because it's today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he stops and looks at his P.O. Box and he gets so excited. He's like, yeah. oh, I got I love when I have letters. Yeah. Who did I get letters from? I got one from uh, from our friend Beth there. Yeah. Uh, I got one from, this was Inko Rimo, which I totally forgot was going on. Yeah. Uh, from uh, from Kubo here and uh, from Andrew. So, look at you. Look wow. At this, look at this wax seal. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, it really made it through the post office system, too. And it's the really stamps good. on the front, too. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, well, that's a peel box as well, so. Yeah, still. Yeah. Look at all the stamps. Look at those fun stamps. So many fun stamps. They actually wrote out the total of stamps because some of these are like three cent stamps and yeah. eight cent stamps. And That's so fun. Yeah, really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. They sent me They sent me this. We actually talked about this on the stream. That's why they yeah. sent this. So before we go, we're still not uh, going. We're still, it's the Midwest. <laughs> we still have 10 minutes, so. We were talking about uh, lenticular uh, holograms, and this is the Art of Magic stamps. Apparently That's they made awesome. lenticular stamps for this. Look at that rabbit like pop out of the hat. It's amazing. Does this cost more? I'm sure these did. They, well, I don't know if stamps always know. cost different. I mean, I feel like it, sometimes, it should. Sometimes they do. I yeah. think the the T Rex ones I had cost mm. a little bit more or something. Mm. But I never saw these. These are super cool. They don't. It actually kind of works on camera. It's better yeah, in person. See, yeah. But yeah, super awesome. Did you know that our um P uh, the Postal per people would tell you about those if you were in there and they were available. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. So, yeah, thank you very much, Andrew. Really appreciate that. It was, these are great. Yeah. They're going to go in my, uh, they're going to go someplace cool. Uh, great postcard of the T-Rex ones. Yeah, yeah. I, do. I love that one. Yeah, this is a sweet Zelda one. Um, this one has uh, all kinds of good, very good washi and stickers and stuff yeah, on it. Yeah, that's fun. So I approve. Real fun. Also has a uh, also has a nice droid uh, stamp on there, which I dig. That's fun. Yep. Yep. Number nice. sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Seventeenth of February they sent that, and I just got it. Uh, so they were like on track. Yeah. So. Yeah. I completely forgot about Inka Rymo. Yeah. Just did not even didn't even register. Yeah, great handwriting as well. Yeah, yes. really nice. I think that must have been done with a um, how do you call those pilot ones the. The real long ones with like the various tip sizes that are flat. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, parallels. parallels. Oh, parallels. <laughs> yeah, parallels. Is that Baraje ink on that as well? Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, yeah, that was Baraje. Yeah, yes. which is fun. I don't yeah. know. It was really great. Yep. Um, all right, put in my journal. Oh, that's a good idea. I might do that. Oh. I don't throw any of them out. I have a box. Yeah. I have. I keep. I keep everything that's sent to me like that. So. Yeah. The hoarder. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's, it's a, yeah. it's actually a big shoe box that I cut a slit in. And when I have replied to the letter, I write the date I replied on it. And then I put it in the shoe box. Oh, it's through the slit. That's nice. My own little mailbox. It is. <laughs> so, all right. This time we really are going because I actually am uh, running out of all the energies that keep my body moving. So thank you very much for hanging out today. Thank you so much for all the donations. Yes. Donations? I mean, yeah, kind of that. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for all the caches. It's amazing. Yeah. And uh, we really appreciate it. So we'll see you next week. And uh, until then, think about what you put out in the world and make it a better, a better place. Audrey? Cheer water bros Barahe? Barahe. Bye everybody. See you on Friday. Bye! In Baltimore. Where? Baltimore. Nailed it. Thank you.